Hi there, this is uh, Dave from um, VideoFXUniverse.com and uh, today we're going to do a updated tutorial on one of my old ones. Now if any of you have seen my um, tutorial on how to add exhaust fumes or exhaust glow uh, then basically I'm going to show you a newer and better way to create it. Now if you saw my old tutorial and thought it was great then yes it, it did look good however it was obsolete it, um, whenever your ship moved um, it, it was just ineffective okay so f forget everything that you um, saw in my last tutorial because this one is the one that's going to um, work for you okay now we've got my uh, scene already set up um, I've got my um, my alien ship here that I'm actually using t um, for my current video uh, visitor 2 okay but um, yeah I say the last tutorial was was no good because there was too much work involved, uh, you had to add too many lights, too much messing around and uh, the end result did look good but like, like I say whenever you move the craft uh, the glow just did not work very well at all. So what we're going to do here is um, select a sphere, um, actually before I do that I'm just going to zoom right in on the tail of my uh, my ship. Okay. And here as well just so we get them all lined up properly and I'm going to create a sphere I'm going to drag that in all right. now what we need to do is position it in the right place ok that's looking good that's looking good as well all right. now what I want to do is scale it down so it's nice and flat like so right try to uh, resize it to fit your exhaust pipe and place it just inside it now looking at that that looks like it's right in the in the correct place a few small minor adjustments to uh, sort out the uh, the lining up and I'll say that that's uh, in place right now go to our materials find an empty slot um, select uh, a colour of your choice, whatever colour you want the glow to look like. So I'm going to choose um, I'm going to choose a light blue for this. Okay, right. Set the uh, self illumination to a hundred. Okay, set this down to not zero and this down to zero. Okay, now apply it to the sphere. All right. Okay then. Now if I just do a quick preview, we should come back with. Um, with, with our result and there you go it doesn't look very good at the moment it just looks like um, a blue circle in the exhaust pipe so what we're going to do now is change that okay so basically um, what we're going to do is go back into our material properties and we're going to select number one on here on this little um, keypad here that looks like a, uh, a telephone handset uh, it's going to click on number one now what we're going to do is go up to our rendering effects lens effects and I'm going to add uh, a lens effect here and I'm going to turn it into a glow right now you might have seen this uh, from a um, a previous uh, tutorial that I did um, where, where I added a glow to um, a laser beam this is pretty much the same thing but without using lights okay so if you did see my uh, create a uh, 3D laser beam, then check that tutorial out too. All right, let's go into our settings. Go to our options at the bottom. Object IDs number one and number one here. So make sure they're highlighted. Um, don't apply it to the lights, but the image and the image centers. All right. What we want to do now is update the effect to see what it looks like. And there you go. Straight away, I've got myself an instant glow. Okay, now um, like I say, there was hardly any any work really involved in that at all, and I didn't need to add any extra lights in the scene or anything like that. It was that simple. Now, if I if I uh, change the, um, the the glow element here, I'm going to change that to a blue because it is a blue uh, beam. Okay, there we go. Let's just update the scene. That looks a little bit better. I mean, ob obviously it's completely up to you, but you you can change the intensity and the size. I mean, if I t turn it from 30 down to around about 7, let's have a look, see what we come back with. Um, looks just a little bit smaller. Um, 
like I say, you can mess with all these settings. Um, and also, there is the bonus that if I um, move it away from the camera, it will move with the camera and it will and it will resize as well. Whereas the last time, it would stay the exact same size. But before I move it, what I also need to do, click on the uh, the linking button, uh, highlight my um, my sphere, click hold and release on the ship. Now, basically, now whenever the ship moves, this will move with it. Now, if I just move this right out of the way. Oh, wrong one. Let's move my, my ship. Move it forward right the way out the way here. And so it's quite small now. If I do a quick preview, as you can see, the glow goes with it. See? It resizes itself and everything. So there you go. And um, also, if you, if you um, want to see some parts of your engine underneath the glow, um, for instance, um, I don't know. It's you don't want it to be as intense. What you can do is uh, select the, um, the the sphere, right-click, object properties, uh, and basically bring the rendering control right down to around about sort of 0 0.3. Okay, and basically that makes it transparent, so you can also see what's on the other side of the um, of of the uh, engine, so to speak. So let me just close this down. Let's close this down. Okay. Let's do a quick preview again. Like I say, I mean the glow is a bit bright at the moment, but basically, if you bring the intensity down of it a little bit, you'll actually see the uh, other end of the, um, the of the exhaust. So let me just bring that down. And let's bring this down a bit too. Update. There we go. As you can see, the glow is a lot smaller now, and you can actually see the other side of the um, of the exhaust. So it's entirely up to you how you do this. You can, like I say, there's no problem at all. You can you can resize it. You can move your entire ship, and like I say, the glow will move with it. And no matter how small it goes, um, the glow effect will go smaller with it as well. So that's basically the tutorial. So um, as I was saying, ignore my my last tutorial. Uh, because, um, like I say, this is a new and much better way to do this effect. Okay, so uh, that's basically it. It's that simple. My name's Dave from VideoFXUniverse.com. Uh, please visit our forum. Um, if you've got any tutorials that you need re requested, then uh, please post on the forum, um, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Bye.